many people with diabetes have a problem controlling their diabetes because they incur what we call as hypoglycemia or otherwise called low blood glucose levels whilst they are on medication for their diabetes. Low blood glucose level in medical terms is defined as blood glucose levels less than 70 milligrams per deciliter. That means if a person's blood glucose level falls below 70 milligrams per deciliter, we call it as hypoglycemia or, lead, or low blood glucose. Why is low blood glucose so much relevant? Because if a person has low blood glucose levels that can affect their functioning capacity, the person would behave as if he or she is drunk. The person would behave in an illogical manner. The person becomes drowsy. The person becomes incoherent. The person can incur significant damage to the brain and if left untreated properly and if left unrecognized properly can in fact go into coma and can remain in a vegetative state for the rest of the life. So it is very important to know what hypoglycemia is, to recognize it on time if a person were to have low blood glucose levels and to treat it effectively and also ensure that it does not occur frequently. So for all these reasons, it is important that people with diabetes understand what is hypoglycemia and have the knowledge of treating it properly. So what are the causes of low blood glucose levels? If one were to use more medication than required to control blood glucose levels or if one were to self-adjust their medications without consulting their doctor or if one were to develop problems related to their liver or kidneys or more commonly if a person were to not take their food on time or cut down their food intake compared to their routine food intake or do too much work, work on a single day. For instance, if a person who is used to doing only uh, two meters or uh, two kilometers of walk daily were to do say 10 kilometers jog on a day without taking preventive snack before the jog then this person were to, can easily develop hypoglycemia. So for all these reasons it is very important to take food on time, to take similar quantity of food, not to overexert oneself on a single occasion without taking an extra snack in order to prevent low blood glucose levels and also to take medication as prescribed by the doctor and to periodically check their blood glucose readings if required. So how do you recognize hypoglycemia? One can recognize hypoglycemia by various symptoms and signs which a person can have when he or she has hypoglycemia. What are these signs and symptoms? The signs and symptoms are like this. A person might feel tremulous, anxious, excessively sweaty, confused, muddled and excessive hunger. If a person has any of these symptoms and if a person is on medications for his or her diabetes, then the person must immediately suspect that he or she might have a low blood glucose level and if a glucometer is available, check it. If the reading is less than or equal to 70 milligrams per deciliter, immediately treat it effectively. How do you treat it? You treat it by taking two or four spoons of sugar in water or if milk is available or if none of these are available, honey if it is available or if this is not available, some soft drinks or if soft drinks are not available, whatever form of simple carbohydrate that is available should be taken immediately. If it is treated by means of this simple treatment, the hypoglycemia can be corrected immediately and the blood glucose levels can be brought. And after about 15 to 20 minutes after taking this, it is important to recheck with a glucometer if the blood glucose levels have come up to 
more than 70 milligrams per deciliter. If they haven't, it is important to again take some amount of carbohydrate which we discussed and recheck it after some time. How much is some time? Again another 15-20 minutes. And at this stage when the blood glucose levels are 70 milligrams per deciliter, it is important to think as to why the person has had a low blood glucose level and take a healthy snack to prevent another episode of low blood glucose levels otherwise the person would have another episode of low blood glucose levels if the person does not take a healthy snack at that point of time. So for all these reasons it is important to take food on time to prevent hypoglycemia to take medications judiciously as advised by the doctor and also to exercise in a sensible manner. What should one do if they find that their colleague or friend or any other individual who has diabetes has a low blood glucose level and the person is comatose and unable to take orally the various carbohydrate supplements that I have mentioned so far. The person should immediately call for help. If they are trained, they need to put the person in what we call as recovery position to prevent, to prevent choking and to prevent uh, any compromise of their airway. If they get help, as soon as they get help, what they need to do is they need to administer what we call as intravenous glucose. That means in the form of a drip, the person ought to be given some glucose infusion which a trained medical personnel can do and that is taken care of in a proper professional manner. So it is important to both prevent, recognize and also treat hypoglycemia on time in order to prevent the various complications of hypoglycemia right from the various symptoms that I mentioned to you and also the other significant complications such as coma, brain damage, heart attacks which can in fact happen if hypoglycemia is left untreated for a significant amount of time. So ladies and gentlemen, I urge you to please prevent and treat hypoglycemia that means low blood glucose levels if you were to have diabetes by following some simple precautions and stay healthy and happy and safe. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, for tips about good health and about various complications and prevention of various health problems, please stay tuned to Health Masters. Thank you.